Hello, this is the Pulte new construction spec home that is available right now um, that somebody can move right in. It is not to be built that I'm giving you a tour of. The neighborhood obviously is just under construction so it's not the prettiest, but hopefully you can visualize how it would look once it's done. Across the street you will not have a direct house. But you do have the backyards of the older, the Ethan's Green existing community backyards backing up. And then going further is a street and then there's a, a vacant lot next door. All right, I'm going to continue to the house to give you the rest of the tour. So you have this covered porch area. It's pretty narrow, but good size. It is a pulte floor plan, as I mentioned. You have, as you walk in, on the left-hand side, an office, living room, an extra bedroom if needed. Just no closet in here, but it's a really good size. Down the hall are bedrooms. And I'll take you there in a second. And you go keep going. Tall ceilings, they look or feel are about 10 feet, I would say. Then there is a laundry room area with a bench. So this is where the washer and dryer would go. This is where you would hang your coats and it's a built-in. And this is where you have the garage. It is a two-car garage with, oh, it's actually three cars, this is awesome. Okay, so this is a third car option that you will just have to obviously park cars one behind another or a huge storage area. I'm glad I looked in there. Go back in the house. You have a closet here too. Basement. Kitchen. Dining area. So I'm going to go back around to show you the kitchen quartz countertops and then there's this extra nook with built-ins another closet here as well double sink and stove dishwasher faucet that's obviously where the foot will go and then a walk-in pantry keep going Very open floor plan. Going back. Here is the master. And tall tub ceilings. Two sinks. Stand up shower. There's this space here, so technically. Um, this can be expanded if this is not big enough to a bigger shower or just whatever nook you want to use. Kind of weird spot there. Um, there is a bathroom toilet area separate and a walk-in closet. That's the main master. And now I'm going to take you back to the other guest bedrooms. Bedroom one with a walk in closet, hallway leading towards a hall bathroom, lots of cupboards, one sink. Surprised I didn't put a second sink, looks like there's plenty of space for it, but it is there. And there's a tub. And you go further, then you have another bedroom right here. Good size closet. And going back, the basement is totally unfinished, um, but I will still take you and show you that, okay? Going down 
the basement. It is ginormous. So this is a crazy thing about ranches. It is fully excavated. So um, you don't have any crawl space. So if you did decide to finish the downstairs here, you can make a whole whole world down here. here. Let me turn the lights on. Just to give you a good understanding of how big this basement is. They do have plumbing for a bathroom. And again, to show you how big it is. That is it. The backyard, um, I will record separately when I get upstairs and I'll show you the backyard. It is not huge, but should be enough room for a, uh, a small pool if needed.